Hey, what's up everyone, MacBoy here from MacBoy Productions, and today I'm going to be showing every single one of you out there who owns an iPhone or iPod Touch how to make the iPhone or the screen of your iPhone come up on your Mac. And I'm sure that many of you have seen YouTube videos that, um, that are showing people showing you guys their iPhone on their Mac and screen, screen recording it from there. And you know what, I thought I'd let you guys know because it is really comes really handy when you're doing videos uh, for your own uh, purpose. So two things you need to download is one is on the iPhone and one is on your Mac, like usual uh, programs that does this kind of stuff. All right, very first thing, I'm gonna take you to the actual screen. Here is the iPhone, here's my iPhone right now, I'm connected uh, with mine. And what you need to do is the first thing you have to have your iPhone or iPod Touch jailbroken. Second thing, you need to go to Cydia, open that up, and then wait for this to load. <coughs> and then go into the search tab. Now, in the search tab, type in screen split. And it should come up right there. Type on screen splitter, and this is the program that you will need on your iPhone, or this is the package that you will need on your iPhone or iPod Touch uh, to enable this to work on your computer. So basically, hit install in the top right corner. Mine says modify because I've already installed this, and as you can see, I'm using this on my computer. And once you've done that, there should be an icon on your home screen that says screen splitter, and mine right now says on decided. Basically, when I tap it, it's going to launch and then go back to your home screen, and it's going to say uh, on for you. Uh, for me, it will hit off and then this whole thing will shut down. But I'm not going to tap on that right now because I don't want it to be shut down. All you have to do is hit, tap on the icon, it should launch, and it's going to go right back to your home screen, and there you have it. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to go on the internet on your iPhone, sorry, on your Mac, and you need to download this application called Demo God. And this is what basically it brings up the image of the iPhone around your screen. And that's really basically it. Uh, if I quit this application, Demo God, all right, everything is gone. Now, if I launch it again, Demo God from my hard drive, uh, all you have to do to connect it to is the same network from your iPhone and your Mac. So once you're connected to the same computer, so it's the same network, it should come up right here. Mine's called iPhone 3GS. And once you click on that, on your iPhone, it should ask you uh, this, uh, there's a connection that is asking you to connect. All you have to do is click accept on your iPhone and basically that's what comes up. Uh, that's how it's going to come up in Demo God. And there you go. All right. Now, there's no problem with the application except that it is, it is a bit laggy. It is a bit slow compared to the iPhone, of course. But you know what? It can be used to show uh, general things on the iPhone. Uh, certainly not uh, applications or games such as you know a monkey swing or catch a mouse or cube runner or junk car whatever it's not made for showing games it's actually just made to uh, navigate through maybe show some apps in Cydia or the App Store and other things like that other than that that's basically it guys thank you very much for watching this has been MacBoy from MacBoy Productions please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to this video on my channel and guys over there to the right of this video in the description you will find my Twitter my blog, and my business email where you can contact me with any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.